Are you tired of this happening while taming a Sarcosuchus? My name's Tekorsa and today I'll show you how to tame a Sarcosuchus, and if you stick around I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tame Sarcosuchus. First off, let's prepare. The food you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Regular kibble, raw prime fish meat, raw mutton, raw prime meat, cooked lamb chop, cooked prime fish meat. I'd recommend using regular kibble or raw prime fish meat. It wouldn't hurt to have some cooked prime fish meat, just in case. You'll need around 100 narcotics per hour after the first hour during the tame. At a default taming rate, a level 30 can take between 10 and 30 minutes, a level 60 can take between 15 and 45 minutes, a level 120 can take between 20 and 60 minutes, a level 150 can take between 30 and 90 minutes. These times are the difference between raw prime fish meat and raw fish meat. Yes, raw prime fish meat is slightly faster than using kibble, and for lower levels, the loss in effectiveness isn't that bad. The recipe for regular kibble is 1 medium egg, 2 long grass, 2 savor root, 1 cooked meat jerky, 5 fiber, and 1 water. Since the Sarko got a TLC update, they've gotten a few abilities that make them interesting to tame. The biggest obstacle being the Death Roll, which can grab a bunch of creatures under a drag weight of 85. So if you're planning on just jumping on your favorite raptor and just trying it, you may want to reconsider bringing the raptor, and instead use something a little larger that you can use weapons while riding, such as an Equus. Lure the Sarko on land, where it's much slower, and keep ahead of it while you pelt it with Trank ammo until it's unconscious. They can also be trapped by a large bear trap, which means we could utilize that for a trap. The most straightforward trap is using metal billboards in a square shape with sides missing and a large bear trap in the middle. Lure the Sarko into the square and place the last billboard into place. Shoot it freely with your Trank ammo. You can also always make a birdcage using four stone dinosaur gateways with doors on either side and a large bear trap in the middle. Lure the Sarko through the gates and shut the doors on either side. Shoot it with your Trank ammo. You can also build a 1x1 one one box with a ramp up one side of it. This trap is rather small for a Sarko, and it might be safer to use a little bit larger one. Knock out the Sarko at your leisure. Sarkos can also be picked up by a wyvern or a quetzal and transported back to a pre-built taming pen where you can freely knock it out. Whichever way you decide to use, pelt the Sarkosuchus with Trank ammo until it's unconscious. Put your food of choice and narcotics in its inventory and maintain its topor so it doesn't wake up until it's tamed. If this video was helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. The Sarkosuka Saddle Ingram can be learned at level 35 and can be crafted in your inventory with hide, fiber, and cementing paste. Their primary attack is a bite attack. 
If you face a target behind you, the Sarko will flip around and attack it. Their secondary attack is a death roll, which will latch onto creatures with a drag weight of 85 or less, with some exceptions. Their crouch command is a forward lunge at a target. I find that this attack doesn't work all that well. You can use weapons while riding a Sarcosuchus. Sarcosuchus scare away Mega Piranha even while you're not riding the Sarco. You can recover Sarkosuka's skin from dead wild Sarkos, which can be used as a tribute to summon bosses. You can craft regular kibble with Sarko eggs along with 2 long grass, 2 savor root, 1 cooked meat jerky, 5 fiber, and 1 water. There's also an aberrant form of the Sarkosuchus, which first appeared on the Aberration map. That's all I've got for today. Thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.